members of the House of Representatives are back after the by-elections conducted over the weekend. The pressing issue of the cost of living in the country is raised as a matter of urgent national importance. The House calls for federal investment in impactful measures while appealing to stakeholders in the production chain to be more realistic in price increments on their goods and services. The Ministers of Finance, Budget and National Planning, the CBN Governor and the FIRS Chairman are admitted into the Chamber and the debate is kicked off by the Deputy Speaker. I'm going to start with the FIRS. One after the other, the invited guests speak on the state of the economy from their various perspectives. Given this economic condition and with the promise of Mr. President, what we need to do is to re-strategize within to make sure that uh, we bring more people into tax net. So without increasing the tax rate, that will be able to meet the targets. And that is what has led to us restructuring. The urgency of the matter is, lost, is not lost on us at the central bank. And I really want to assure you that we're working tirelessly with colleagues from across government, including with the leadership of this house, to bring lasting solutions. We are not going to take the easy way out. And more than that, the budget provided more money, both on nominal and in real, in, in real terms, than has ever been provided in the priority sectors. Where we are as a nation economically is a much, much better place than we were on the 29th of May. 2023. If we look at the finances of the government today, there has been benefit to the Federation account. And likewise, there have been other benefits which have accrued as a result of the changes that have been made. They respond to questions from lawmakers on improving the economy and its impact on the cost of living, which is generating pockets of protests across the country. This is a good news, quite frankly. It's good news that there's sufficient enough investor confidence returning back to the market for people to feel comfortable to do the, the, those, that volume of transactions. That's the good news. So I think it's something that we should be pleased about and it's something that we expect will continue to get better as the reform process continues to gather steam. Number one route to salvation is getting crude oil exports up. It is God given. The price is at $80, $77, $80. You can't get much higher than that. In the days when we had $100 billion of revenue, the oil price wasn't that high, but production was at 2.2 million barrels. You can do the mathematics. In short, our easiest and quickest route to a better living standard for all Nigerians in the short term is raising oil production, oil exports, oil sales, bringing in foreign exchange. This is the second in the series of sectoral debates organized by the House to address concerns in various sectors of the country. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.